Now everybody has their crazy year. Hopefully I won't have any more. My crazy year was 1993. My sister died a horrible cancer death. I had a divorce. My dad had to go to a nursing home. Everybody was mad at me. And this painting actually symbolizes my marriage. And I was inspired to do it initially when I found this bride doll in a garage sale and I picked it up and it was one of those weird scary dolls where if you leaned it back, the eyes would just flutter like that, like it was possessed. And I thought, ooh, this is weird. I gotta have this, this is cool. And um, so anyway, the bride symbolizes me in the marriage. She had this vision of a little cottage, picket fence, you know, all sunny, perfect little life. She had this vision. In the meantime, the reality was swirling around. Um, my ex-husband had terrible temper and um, dark secrets, which I didn't find out till the end. And he, sim he is symbolized by the exploding volcano and the river of lava going through. And um, he was an alcoholic, so there's like beer bottles floating around. And um, years ago I had found, a, let me see, it's, it's a Boston bullhead hand puppet. And to me, that kind of symbolized men for me at the moment. They were like greedy, opportunistic. And uh, so these dogs are like biting on the bride. And <laughs> you might want to say that, these dogs. <laughs> <laughs> The dogs are biting on the bride and, and there's blood dripping down her dress, but she doesn't realize she's got this vision, you know, she's told all will be wonderful. And um, of course, right before, this, people wonder about the shotgun. Uh, right before we were supposed to get married, um, the, the woman that was supposed to be like my sister-in-law, she found out her husband was screwing around on her, so she shot herself in the basement of my in-law's house. Yeah, it was a great year. <laughs> anyway, so that's what that is. And, and I had to put like lines of laundry going across because it symbolized all the work. It was really hard work. Um, and there's like the trailer park at night. You know, I had visualized a cute little, pretty little, pretty little cottage in the summer. But the reality was a really crappy trailer park in Detroit. So um, anyway. Uh, they have trailer parks in Detroit? Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, actually one year, our plant, Ford Wixom Assembly, we, we normally work 50 hours a week, two, two assembly, or I mean two shifts, 50 hours a week. And then so that year we had orders for 100,000 cars. So we had to work 50 hours one week and then 58 the next. So like every other Saturday night we had to work. And it got so that actually I really did not like having Saturday night off because that meant that I would spend it in the trailer park. And on Saturday nights in the trailer park, there was always a drunken brawl, noisy, Men would be out there drunk. They'd be clubbing each other with rakes. The police would come. I mean, they, would, they wouldn't quiet down till 6 o'clock in the morning. So I remember thinking, man, I'd rather have been at work. So anyway, it was uh, kind of a relief to get this painting out.